You remember last year? We got so lost here. Yeah, it felt like we took every wrong turn before eventually finding the right one. <laughs> That's a good way of you navigating the real world problems, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Whenever there's no GPS, you have to rely on your own skills. Exactly. No shortcuts this time. Yeah. Oh wait, that's the kandang. Oh! Yeah. yeah. Shall we show them what we have been working on? Sure. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Last year, we worked with local communities in Yogyakarta to identify their key challenges, like waste management. We started with sketches and prototypes, but that was just the beginning. From those discussions came ideas like the EcoBrick system and the automated waste separator. This year with Flex Plus, we are back to put those ideas into action. It's exciting to think about where these solutions can go. Who knows how much further they'll develop. So here in Singur 2, we actually found that the farmers face significant challenges in terms of ensuring the goods health and of course making efficient good compost production of which we come up with the design of the automated waste separator, which is a completely automated process, improving the goods health by efficiently separating between goat dung and goat urine and transporting of the goat dung to the fermentation area. The goal is to create a system that automates the waste separation without the constant attention of the farmers. When we're designing the system, we look for locally available materials so that it can be easily replaced, which makes it economically viable for the farmers. Basically, the machine will be placed under a goat pen. The goat feces and urine will pass through the machine and will be separated. After the separation, the feces will be delivered on this conveyor system, which will transport it to a composter. Dari dulu, misalnya satu hari itu kita harus menaikkan, memisahkan urin itu satu hari, bisa menaikkan kotoran itu uh, kurang lebih menyingkat waktu. 2 sampai 3 jam setiap harinya. Jadi alhamdulillah setelah itu keuntungan kami e, dari penjualan pupuk itu per kental itu bisa e, mendapat keuntungan 25%. In Sungro 2, we tackle goat waste with our automated waste separator, focusing on improving farm hygiene and compost efficiency. Well, here in Pali Dadap 1, we're addressing the plastic waste issue with EcoBrick system. We are repurposing plastic waste into eco bricks, which can be used or sold for construction and other implementations for the villagers to use as an opportunity for their lifestyle or as a business. We noticed that plastic waste was piling up here in Kalidada, and due to the lack of knowledge that the villagers have, their simplest and fastest way to get rid of the trash is by burning it. And this is really bad because it impacts their health and the environment. So that's why SP students created this EcoBrick solution. We turned plastic waste into something so much more valuable. Sebelumnya saya tidak tahu tentang project ini. Setelah adanya EcoBrick, kami juga kami bisa tahu cara pengolahan sampah plastik dan sangat membantu untuk ekonomi ekstrim di Karang Taruna sini. Ini nanti ada kaitannya dengan di Kalidap 1 yang tadi sudah saya sampaikan. Ini nanti bisa menjadikan kolaborasi antara wisata, pertanian, peternakan, dan lingkungan hidup. Sehingga ke depan di Serunggo 2 dan Kalidap 1 ini akan menjadi jalur-jalur wisata karena di sana nanti akan menjadi sentral peternakan Kabupaten Bantul. Mudah-mudahan ke depan nanti akan lebih bagus lebih tertata dan menambah kemakmuran warga sekitar. So here we are. How does it feel to see the impact of your work in person? Seeing the EcoBrick system actually in use and it's improving the community, it's given me a great sense of satisfaction. You never know the great impact until you're really here on the ground. So Shinri, what is the biggest challenges that you face in this project? Wow, don't even get me started from the language barrier to making sure that the automated waste separator can work efficiently is definitely not easy. Things didn't really go as planned, but we learned to adapt and kept going. There's nothing such as a perfect condition, right? So now we know we need to learn to adapt. Yeah, most definitely. And of course, we made it work. Kian, what does this experience teach you about problem solving? I not only have to look at the problem itself, but actually look at my bigger audience, which in this case was the villagers and the community that I'm helping. This is what SP teaches you in terms of work ready and world ready. We can actually make a difference, even with small actions. 
It's humbling to see how much our work is able to improve the community. And we couldn't have done it without you. Whenever we are stuck, you're there to give us guidance and help us along. And we really appreciate it. I realised that whatever we study can actually make a real world difference. This experience has shown me that what we learn in a classroom is just the beginning. Out here, it's about applying that knowledge to make a difference in the real world. The challenges we faced here taught us resilience and adaptability. We have learned so much from this journey and it's something we will carry with us long after we leave Yogyakarta.